Hello, how are you guys? You're very punctual. Excellent. You are on time. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. So tell me, how are you, Kimberly? How was your day? Uh, busy day, but I'm ready to start a class. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yes. All right. Uh, Kimberly, are you married? Good evening. Oh, no. no. Please, no. No, no. Okay. No marriage, no kids, no kids. No, no kids, no marriage. Excellent. Okay. No problem. Good. Yeah. Okay. And Kimberly, have you ever gone to a wedding? Yes, I really love wedding. I love to see people in love and I love okay. just to be like an invited girl, but not like a, a, like a novia, is, um, like a girl, no a, girl. A bride. Girlfriend. A, a bride. bride. Yeah, bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not like a bride, but I love wedding. Okay. And what is the thing that you see in the weddings? What is the tradition that you see in the weddings? Ah, uh, the tradition. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice tirar el ramo? Ah, how do you say tirar? It's like se me escapó esa palabra. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. In the chat. Okay. Um, let's have Throw, ah, uh, throw. Uh -huh. And you throw a bouquet. A <laughs> bouquet, uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's, it's a tradition. Okay, good. That's a tradition, very good. Mm -hmm. Sandra, what other traditions do we have in weddings? Uh, um, uh, um, the K of the novio. I don't know how to say novio. Ah, yeah. that the novio is the name is groom. Groom. The gay of the groom. The gay. Cake. Only for the groom. Uh, and the people in my or the normal is uh, the the grow, no the bright mm -hmm. uh, decide for the cake. So the grow the, the groom the groom decide uh, other other cake and only for him for him and her him friend. Really? Yes. Oh, I never heard this tradition. Yes. Wow. So there are two cakes. Yes. Yes, two cakes. Okay, wow, all right, interesting. Josue, what other traditions do you know about in a wedding? Josue, your microphone is on mute. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay. Uh, give the woman a diamond rings or the man to pay the, the wedding and reception. The man, the man pays for the wedding and the reception. Yeah. Ah, I thought, I thought it was the, the bride that paid for the reception or, or for the wedding. I thought the bride paid for the wedding. No. No. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. If you don't know the traditions, that is today's objective in class. Today's objective um, there we have a uh, Josue. Can you please read the objective? Uh, in this in this session, you will listen and practice 
a conversation about reading Crookston and verbal clause of sign will be introduced. All right, so let's listen about different wedding custom, customs. Wedding customs. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner. And after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Okay, so tell me, what are the traditions for the wedding in Japan? What did you understand? It was some interruption, so I couldn't uh, hear uh, okay. the conversation because it was stopped. It's stopping. I don't know if I was or. Me too. Okay. Too. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me play again. Let's play again okay. one more time. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner. And after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the... Okay, so what did they say? Before before the ceremony, the um, the couple uh, take some pictures. Where where do they take the pictures? Uh, in the uh, be before the ceremony. Is that a shrine? Correct. A shrine. That's right. So the, the shrine is like the church in El Salvador. The people are Catholic, but in Japan, the people are Buddhist. So they don't go to a church. They go to a shrine. Okay. Or in some countries, like a temple. Okay. I'll get it. Thank you. Good. Anything else? Any other traditions that they said? The people sing and and say speeches. I mm -hmm. think. Okay. Good. Very good. They also said that the guests receive presents. Imagine you go to the wedding. You receive the present. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, right? In El Salvador, do you receive a present when you go to the wedding? 
Ah, for the invited people. They mm -hmm. receive presents. It's not common, right? So <laughs> we have <laughs> to give some presents for the wedding. For the, for we have to give, them. right? No, yeah. no, no, they give us. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, nope. In Japan, the person that go to the wedding receive. Now let's listen. What other traditions do they say? The bride and groom give each guest. I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? I had to go to well, to sugar coffee. is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Mm. What happened in the last part? Let's listen Before the time. guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. A ceramic box with sweets. Correct. A ceramic box with sweets. Uh -huh. Aquí nosotros nos llevamos los centros de mesa. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's, it's typical. <laughs> Presente para los invitados. Uh -huh. But the people don't receive presents. In Japan, imagine you receive a ceramic box and inside you receive a, a sweets to say thank you for coming to the wedding. Okay, so in this moment, we're gonna continue our topic about I, wedding traditions. We're gonna say, what wedding traditions do you like? What wedding traditions do you know? Maybe, for example, the American, Japanese, uh, Indian, in India, oh, no, no, no in India, sorry, in Ireland, in Ireland, my friends, I have friends from Ireland, and the tradition is the wedding ceremony is three days, three days, drinking, partying, laughing, eating for three days. I know you, oof, you are full after three days of party, but it's the tradition. Wow, it's too much. <laughs> uh -huh. The idea is because in Ireland, you go with the families, not with the person. And the family have to make a new relationship. In it's three days, the family play and get together to become a new family. So the idea is, if I marry Sandra, I, I, I spend three days with Sandra's family and Sandra's family spend three days with me playing games, drinking, celebrating to create the relationship for the future. This is a great tradition. I, I love oh, it. interesting. It's different. <laughs> like us too. Uh-huh. We have to do that. Yes, because they because believe they believe that if you if you have the first relationship are good, then later the relationship stay connected in good with the family. And it is true. I when think, you get married, I think you had to get married with it, all the family. Mm -hmm. No marry, marry the person and divorce the family. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so think now with your, partners, with your partners, you're going to talk about different traditions for, that you know, maybe Salvadorian, maybe Americans, others. In El Salvador, we have... Um, I don't remember the name. Is it called La Joya? El Aro? El Arco? Is the, the coins. They give like 10 coins. Arras. Yes, arras. Haras. Arras. 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 Okay. Okay. 
So you and your partner discuss which ones you like, which ones you don't like, which ones you say, no, we need to change for you and your partner from any country, right? Okay. It's okay, the objective? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes the teacher is okay. Right. Perfect.
Okay. So what were some of the things, what were some of the traditions that you thought about that you like, that you don't like, that you would like to change? In our case, um, the the conversation was very funny because um, we we talked about uh, different moments in uh, a wedding. Uh, um, Kimber Kimberly uh, enjoyed the the throw the bouquet. Ah, mm -hmm. and the barra libre. <laughs> And the barra libre, okay, okay. A lot of uh, drinks. A lot of alcohol. Okay. Not too much, but I love to be free and, and get some drink. <laughs> Not drunk, just drink it. Just drink, to be relaxed. Okay. Just sharing the happiness, that's all. <laughs> Okay. I don't I don't like the ceremony. You don't like the ceremony. I I I I no like, more. <laughs> I, I, I like um I like eat and eat cakes and drinks. Um I like good music. But but not the ceremony. No. No. Okay. Only the reception. No, no in the church. The church, no. I don't know. I don't know the ceremony in the church. Uh, uh. Do you think it's very long and boring? I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. Tell me, anybody else? Any other traditions or did you like or you don't like? Teacher. Yes. We talk with, with my partner in the weddings. Uh, the bride, um, the bride wear something blue, something new, and something uh, borrow, borrow it. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's a tradition too, yes, yes, yes. Have you seen the tradition where the woman, the bride have like this elastic in the leg and the man had to remove with the teeth? I see that, but why? Yes. Why men do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, but yeah, that's, it's, it's true. Why men do that? I, I can tell you, it's very easy, Kimberly. For the women, the women receive the bouquet of flowers. Mm -hmm. But the tradition is the man throw the elastic and the next man is going to get married. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poor man. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Wow. What about... But me, mm -hmm. Are men excited with that tradition or don't like? Uh, are they excited? No, I don't think. I think that it's only for the game, only for the tradition. No, ah, okay. no excited. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I think the men, mm -hmm. the best part for the men, the tradition is the bachelor party. Oh. <laughs> it's the best tradition for the men. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> the bachelor know. party. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Now I know. Now you know. Next boyfriend, no bachelor party. <laughs> yes. And the bachelor party, mm, nothing happened. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> what happened, happened. I don't remember. Okay. Uh huh. So that's good to know. Good to that's know. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. Now, excellent. That's the idea. The idea is to share and talk a little bit about the wedding traditions. Now we're going to continue with the next objective, which is only about pronunciation. Here on 3.10. We're going to listen to rhythm and stress and listen how to pronounce some things. Pronunciation, stress and rhythm, part A. 
Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Pronunciation. Is this the same tradition in El Salvador? Do the guests usually give money to the bride and groom? It depends in the in the invitation, the 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 married in the, the they they give a, a money, not not a present. Okay, so in the invitation it says money, then yes. Yes, in the not. invitation they, they say if you like to get a present, a gift, or, 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 or money. Oscar, what do you think about this? Because this is, this is not tradition, this is modern. Before, only the people give gifts or money, what they want. But today, it's very, very common that the bride and group put, ah, regalo de sobre, is, or, or cash gift. or gift. What do you think? You think it's good or not good? For for me is is I am I, I don't like so much, but it depends you, of, of the. You feel the pressure to have to give a lot of money. <laughs> no, I I I, I prefer a, a gift, a gift, a present, okay. but not money. But it depends of 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 the the wedding. Okay. If you if if you give money like to the other person, spend it. You know. If you give a gift, and the other person enjoy the gift. Okay. All right. Rocio, what do you think? Um, for me, it's okay. It's more easy. The. It's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you have to choose a gift and you don't know what they need or what they like. So no. it's more easy. No. No. No, no more easy. It... <laughs> it's more easy. No, maybe no more the easy. decision. Take the decision. Easier. <laughs> no more easy. Easier. No. It's easier. 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 Sorry. Easier. There you go. Very good. It's easier. Okay. I don't know. I, I think that it, I understand because to, the, the reality is the weddings are expensive. To be honest, weddings are expensive. It's expensive for the dress. It's expensive. The hotel It's expensive. The ceremony, the food, the music, the drink It's expensive. And I understand the bride and group say, Hey, if we ask for money, Maybe not pay for the wedding, but recover a lot of the money, invest in the wedding. But I, I, I understand Oscar because the gift, and I understand Eric because the gift, the money you use, but you use in the wedding. You're using the food, the drinks, the invitation, the dress, the decoration, but the present, mm, you remember the person. So it's, I don't know. Mm. What do you think, Perla? What do you prefer? 50 50. 50 50, huh, Eric? Depend the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that uh, um, many people use this money uh, to go to travel, um, uh, honeymoon. Oh, okay. Maybe. Also, also possible for the honeymoon. 
Okay. Perla, no. Okay. Nady, what do you think? Um, I prefer money teacher because <laughs> it is used in necess necessities. 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 Okay. All right. So now we're going to talk a little bit about it. Now, we're going to have the two, the two topics. What would you prefer, money or gifts, and why? And for you, what is the correct amount if you want money? And if you don't want money, what is an appropriate gift to receive or to give? So imagine it's your wedding or you go to a friend's wedding. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to receive money or a gift? If you prefer money, what is appropriate? For you, what is an appropriate amount of money for a present for a wedding? Or if you prefer a gift, what is a correct gift to give somebody that is getting wedding, uh, married? Yes? Yeah, teacher, okay. Yes. All right, let's do it.
Lourdes, tell me, what did you talk about with your partners? Um, we talk about what kind of, of gifts prefer, mm -hmm. or money or, or, or a physical gift. Okay. Um, the money teacher. <laughs> <laughs> A common, a, a common answer. Okay, okay. Yes. And for example, say that uh, how much, uh, how much money do you, uh, I want or I. It's acceptable, uh-huh. Uh-huh, it's acceptable. For example, my, my, my classmates say, say that, uh, maybe twenty dollar or or more or more and and me in my case I say forty dollars or more. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, and talk about is common in the um, actually is common in the celebration. Uh, say uh, a money in the invitation. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. In the invitation, you say present, uh, re register in Simon, register in Soso, or money, right? Or money, but I don't know uh, the word. The word in, in Spanish is sobre, but I don't know the meaning in English. Um, in English, is normally they, they have the word which is cash gifts. Ah, gosh, uh, cash gift. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is a, a common, uh, actually it's common that the, the people say cash gift. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Exception the, the kid celebrations. Okay, yes, yes, for the kids is, is a present, the kids like Yes, the it's a present, always is present, but okay. for adult celebration it's common say gift card, give a cash gift. Yes, or gift card is true also. Some people like uh, gift cards. Mm -hmm. And yes, gift card is a, a good option too. Okay, all right. A gift card, a gift card from uh, Dollar City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from anywhere, I think, the because always you buy, you buy in Super Selectos, you buy in Simon, you buy in La Curacao, you, in, if you buy in the place, $20 is $20. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I think that maybe for, I, I agree. I, I think that for me is more how many people go. Only me, I think is correct, $20. But if me and my wife go, I think the appropriate is more money because is two people eating and two people drinking and you need to put more money, no. Mm -hmm. But hey. depend the wedding because if the wedding in the house, no problem. But if the wedding in the hotel, mm, you know is more expensive. Maybe maybe it depends uh, uh, the, the, the relationship that yes. you have with, with the marriage. But if, for example, the the if your brother who is married, you have a you you have a a better a better present or no, maybe no. a, a it, more money. Your brother, I tell you, it's your brother. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the, if if a, for example a co-worker, you can you can maybe twenty twenty five fifty dollar. But if if a, a a family you 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 are more, uh, you need, you need, you have a, a more, a more money, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's true, it's true. Okay, good. Anybody else before we continue? Recently, okay. I, I was invited to a, um, a wedding in Guatemala and the, the bride, uh, uh, put um, a gift table in in a in a um, in a store, and the the gift the 
the gift cheaper, the the cheapest, the cheapest, the cheapest, the cheapest gift uh, was um, maybe um, uh, fifty fifty dollars. Wow! Yes. Imagine the cheapest is is a little expensive. Mm -hmm. Oscar, what is that, teacher? Sorry. Yes, for for uh, my. With with my with my 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 wife is invited for a, a wedding in in August in the, in in but it, it, she say me that the, the present in the table wedding or table present and or, uh -huh. uh, is a, for example uh, uh, sofas or I don't know. Maybe TV, forty-two wow. pulgadas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. Is better, and you have to remember. Sometimes this is the technique, because the person put a big, expensive presents, and then you say no. Then I give cash, even if it's twenty-five dollars. Oh. Uh -huh. it's, it's also the other thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. No? Any In my case, I prefer a, a gift. Eric preferred gifts. Uh-huh. But if you give me a money, I don't be angry. Okay. But Eric, you prefer gift because you like to give gifts. Yeah. You, I like. The, uh huh. And I think the other people prefer money because they like to give money. It's easier for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, it's, you, it's usually if you like to give, is this is what you like to receive. But if you, I some person like the 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 I give money, but the other person is like. Tacaños. I don't know how to say tacaño. Ah, tacaño, cheap. It's like cheap. So what do you think? What, what do you mean, Eric? Que digamos que hay algunas personas que le gustan que no, no, den regalos. Eh, look, all the class in English, only you, Eric. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. You got it, you got oh, it, okay, brother. Okay. You can do it. But some people want uh, that that the other person gave gave their uh, money, mm -hmm. but the other person is like cheap. Oh, okay. Yes, and maybe you only receive ten dollars. <laughs> oh, well. This sometimes is a problem too. This is the problem with the gift, the gifts, or or the money is the problem. Is you cannot say give me twenty dollars, give me fifty dollars is. The person give you, they give you whatever they have, whatever they want. It's no obligation. It's very hard. Okay. Yeah, it's true. it's true. Okay, I like. All right, guys, let's continue on to the next part. And that way we can, tomorrow we finish our unit. The next part is learning how to use adverbial clauses of time. Okay, this is the idea. We're gonna watch a small video to get a good idea. That way we can use it correctly tomorrow. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. It's stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial Clauses of Time When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. 
There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated, and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, all together is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent. Well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that. Okay. So the best way to understand this is fairly simple. The idea is the second part is a sentence. For example, they have traveled around the world. In the first time, the first part is the time. Since they got married, before they got married, when they got married, after they got married. This is the first part. The first part is gives us the indication of the time. But the second one gives us indication, the complete sentence. So that's why at the beginning here, if you see, these are complete sentence. The guests give speeches or sing songs. But here, after the food is served, is not a complete sentence. We need to know what happens. That is the second part. The first part only tell us the order, when, after, before, as soon as, things like that. Is that okay? Okay, so let's think about the wedding. Okay, we are talking about the weddings. It's easy to understand it. So what happens before the wedding? As an example, before the wedding, the groom has a bachelor party. Only the sentence, the groom has a bachelor party is a complete sentence. I only give the time or the order, the first, next, I give the order. That's why I use before, before the wedding or maybe after, after the wedding. What happened after the wedding? Oh, after the wedding, the couple go on a honeymoon. It's a complete sentence. The couple go on a honeymoon, but I use the time. After the wedding, the couple go on a honeymoon. This is only to give an order of the events. So, so, or it's okay? So, so. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, so, so okay. Imagine, imagine your day. In your day, you take a shower or no? Yes. 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 You brush your teeth. Yeah. Yes, too. 
Yes. You you go to sleep. At night. <laughs> okay. no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. And you wake up. Correct? Yeah. It's many events, but I don't explain in the correct order. This is to explain in the correct order. After waking up, I take a shower. Before going to bed, I brush my teeth. These are the ideas. The ah, idea, okay, okay. The idea is to help organize when you are speaking the events. After the concert, we ate dinner. Okay, okay. Is now yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. So tell me, what do you do after the class? I ate my dinner. So, after so. the class, after the class, I ate my dinner. Okay, that is the order. Yesterday, after the class, I ate my dinner. Perfect. You can use past tense, present tense, future after. tense, because all you do is put in order. These are after the Mm -hmm. no no sorry no no only is before after a uh, as soon as is not time is not is not past present or future is only for organizing okay only to organize is not to say only in the past only in the present only in the future is to help organize the situation okay so go ahead give me some more ideas what do you do after class? After class, I drink a, a glass of water. Okay, exactly. After, Very class, cool. after class English, I watch TV. After English class? Yes, after English class, I watch TV. Okay, good. Uh -huh. That's it. And after you watch TV, what happens? Before before to go to bed, I I wash my teeth. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Anybody else? Before the class, I have to sleep my children. Okay. I my before the class, my children. Have to sleep. Have to sleep, okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. Anybody else? After the class, I I finish. I have to finish. Okay, exactly. So we have the idea. It's it's okay. It's clear why we use it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, excellent. So let me explain a little bit. Tomorrow we are going to finish unit three and review. Then on Thursday, we are going to do the test of unit one, two, and three. It's okay? Yeah, okay. 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 Any questions, any problems in the, uh, in the platform or anything that you don't know? Only no. the point three point six. The answer about uh, Brazil, the Rio Carnival. Uh huh. I ask. In this moment, they didn't answer. What was the correct one for, and for question or sorry for question number three? Uh, they didn't say what was the correct answer. But I asked. I will ask again to see if someone can answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? No. Okay. No, thank you so much for connecting. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have thank a you. Good night. 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 Good night.